What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In this week's video, we're going to talk about how to fix pitch inside of Cubase using Very Audio. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I've exported this patch using Omnisphere into an audio track, and I'm gonna show you how to use Very Audio to manipulate the pitch. In case, let's say your performance is out of tune, it could be a vocal performance, uh, horns, trumpets, guitar, anything, and you can go ahead and fix this uh, using what we call Very Audio inside of Cubase. So of course, this patch is already in tune, but I'm gonna purposely move things around so you can hear how Very Pitch a very audio work, sorry. So let's go ahead and open up the editor. This is the waveform editor. So if you click on the waveform here on the track and either hit command option B, which opens up this bottom portion here, you can also hit this middle button here. It's gonna go ahead and open the waveform editor. And when you're inside the waveform editor, make sure that you're clicked inside of it. So you see that this has a white border around the main track. We want to make sure that the white border is inside the editor so this can populate. And we see here very audio. So very audio is the exact same thing as what Melodyne would do or in Logic Pro. If you're a Logic Pro user, this is what Flex Pitch does. In Cubase, we call it very audio. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And what we need to do here is in order to see any pitches here, we need to click this little um, either with the exclamation mark or you can click this little button here and it's going to go ahead and analyze and populate all of the notes here. So again, this all these pitches are dead center because of course it's a patch from Omnisphere, but I can go ahead and manipulate some of these so you can see what Very Audio does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purposely move some of these things around so that you could see that it'll snap it right back on to where it needs to be. So let's just hear the original and then I'm gonna go ahead and modify. Right, so that's a pretty cool patch. Now let's go ahead and move some things around so I can show you some of the parameters and how they work. So if you want to get notes in between, notice how it's it's kind of snapping onto uh, notes directly. If you want to get a smooth transition between notes and let's say the note has to be a little bit flatter but it's still a C, you're going to go to here. You can either hit relative, right? So it can kind of give you a relative pitch of it but or you can turn off the snap mode completely and this allows you to slightly drag it so it's kind of like highest medium and then completely off and here you can kind of tune it to wherever you really need to tune it so like let's say you're working with choir you can actually tune the voices specifically to whatever chord you're playing because again some chords due to the physics of how chords work some chords need the third to be flatter or sharper. This is the perfect opportunity for you to zone in in the pitches that you need to really get in order to get the chord in tune. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it in absolute mode so you can see I can move it around. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, actually instead of moving this around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch it off slightly so I could show you how to quantize this. So I'm going to pitch these just a little bit so that it's still heard as the note C or whatever note it's on and I can go ahead and snap it right back on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these right here and let's hear what I did. All right, so we can hear that it's pretty out of tune. So let's go ahead and highlight those and where it says quantize pitch, this is essentially the strength on how hard you want the algorithm to snap your notes back into tune. Notice as I go up, these start to snap back into the closest pitch that the algorithm recognizes. So you're going to see that if you're all the way 100%, it'll snap it right back to where it was. Right, and this was actually a B, I believe. All 
right, so there we have it. There we have our quantizing pitch. You can straighten the curve. So what this means is if I highlight and then I go to straighten curve, you're going to see that any modulation or any, let's say you have vibrato or you want to create that very intense auto-tuned effect, you flatten the curve so that there really is no modulation. You just hear the pitch exactly how it's meant to be. So this is C. Right, so you heard that one was a very straight tone. So that's what straight and curve is. So shift format is a little bit hard to describe, so let's just go ahead and see what it does inside of Cubase. So listen to what it sounds like. If I shift it to the, to the left, it's going to be in a negative number, but watch what it does to the audio. Right, it kind of muffles it. So let's go ahead and go to the other direction, see what happens. Right, it makes it a lot more bright. So you can see this is kind of like a tone control. It's not really a pitch tool per se, but it's more of a tone control. So you have the option to make a sound more dull or make it sound more bright. And that's pretty much what we have going on on the left side here. It's super simple to use. And as you can see, it's super powerful and it really locks onto those pitches. So here what we have is just a, a warp tool. If we kind of hover over these squares, you're going to see a couple different boxes. You're going to see a box to the left, top, bottom, and right. So what this is, is if you stretch this, you know, on the left side, what you're doing is you're just stretching how far you want this pitch to start. Essentially, all you're doing is time stretching. So that's what you do with this one here. This is to the left of the note, the entrance of the note. I can also do the same to the right of the note. So I could stretch this so this note could start later or sooner. Up here, we have our the same thing the straight and curve knob does here. We could do it up here with this box here. So it's pretty cool that you can do it on top of the waveform because that way you have more control as to where you want to place this in case you want to do it by, you know, clicking the square on top. And then the bottom one here is going to be the um, quantize of the pitch, right? So the same thing we have up here, we can make sure that this is completely in tune by putting it to 100%. And there you have your quantize pitch. So essentially all these four little boxes here is exactly what you have going on here. With the exception that you have the time warping stuff on the left and the right. So I can make this start all the way over here. Of course, it's going to warp the sound. So let's hear what it sounds like. Right, so in order to get that sound to be held for that long, it has to warp it somehow. And that's the algorithm that Cubase uses. And you can see that it's actually pretty good. The note actually stayed and held its, held its tone. Let's hear it far back over here. So that's pretty much it for very audio. It's really not that complex and it's super simple to use inside of Cubase. So now you can go ahead and create your auto tune or you know fix any pitch issues that you have in your tracks without having to do a retake. Or if you're looking for a specific effect, here you can do it without purchasing any third party plugins such as Melodyne. If you have any questions throughout the video, just leave your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. Don't forget to check out the John Moon Studio store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go and check it out. Also down below in the description, I'm going to leave a link to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You can help support the channel as these videos do take time and effort to make. I would greatly appreciate the support. And as always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you guys soon.